Fort William Historical Park kicked off its great rendezvous celebration this weekend with Celtic Days. The first two days of the nine-day event celebrates the city's Scottish history and the broader Celtic culture. Jess Clement has the details. Fort William Historical Park kicked off the great rendezvous celebration with a bang and bagpipes. The nine-day celebration features a number of events and programming over the week and started with Celtic Days on Saturday. Visitors were able to experience Celtic culture, including music, dances, hands-on activities, and an on-site artisan market. Communications officer Emily Carr says Scottish culture had an impact in the fur trade. Especially since um, Fort William was uh, and the Northwest Company were very much um, organized by Scottish businessmen who then partnered with French Canadians and Indigenous peoples. So it's also, it's not just focusing just on Celtic. We do have, you know, um, different aspects from French Canadian culture and, um, and specifically Anishinaabe culture happening with us all week. Attendees were treated to songs by local pipe and drum bands and dance performances from Highland dancers. Dancer Anna Baines says there's a number of dances visitors will be able to watch over the weekend. Today we've just done a fling, which is probably the most common Highland dance you'll see. And we've also done um, a lilt, which is one with a skirt. And we've also done a barracks, which I really like. It's one of my favorites. Baines says being able to dance and show her culture in front of an audience makes her feel empowered. I really like, firstly, that it's tied into my culture because I am Scottish and also it's just a really fun activity to get out and do and make friends. I love it. I feel very like empowered and I feel good um, showing people um, my dancing and showing them what I can do. Celtic Days will continue on Sunday from 10 to 5 p.m. More information about the rest of the Great Rendezvous Celebrations programming can be found online at fwhp.ca. Jessica Clement, TBT News.